Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Slay the Spire. We're going to continue playing as the Watcher, of course, and just keep ascending ascension levels and see, uh, you know, what happens. Uh, see when it gets hard, lol. Uh, elites are tougher. So that's, they're already dead leader, right? So that's like, they do more damage and then later they have more health. Okay. I, I, I double clicked there accidentally, and I want, worried it might make me take this, like, whether I want it or not. Um. I mean, there is a shop, like, right here, so there's some argument, perhaps, for taking the money, which is not a thing I'm usually that excited about. Um, on the other hand, the three fire path is on the left. And that path contains two elites as well, which is pretty nice and doesn't contain a shop. So money is not looking that great. I just wanna like take full left all the way. So I think I'll just take a random relic. All right, sure. Centennial puzzle, three cards, right? Yeah. Uh, should be worth entering calm here because that'll give us more energy, like, I get to play one fewer strike to do this, right? But in exchange, I get to play one more strike next turn when I'm erupted. Uh, did I make a mistake? Let's see. Nine, and then these are 24 is 33. Yeah, so even if I had played that last strike last turn, I wouldn't kill him. I'd get 39. Um, but here's the thing. I'd rather just not take damage. Like, I think we have time against this guy, right? Yeah, let's see. So now I have five energy. I want to spend two of it on vigilance and a defend. So I can only actually afford one attack if I miracle. Kind of a bummer. Um, but I think that's what I have to do. Right? Something like this and then next turn we get to erupt we should have him I mean it's giving him a lot of room but you know there's no reward for going quickly and we got through it with no damage so I'm pretty satisfied with my line um I don't love any of these but a common theme in some of my recent runs has been like too few ways into Wrath, and like I really have loved being in Wrath in all of those. So I'll take this, Simmering Fury. It'll be good like for, especially against like Lagavulin for example, it would be a great way to set up against him. Golden Eye. When you scry, scry two more. Well that's cool. Right after picking up a scry card. Okay, I mean that we're not exactly a scry deck yet. Um, but it's a direction to go uh, in. This is kind of a bummer. I can't kill anyone. And I can't block everything either. Alright, well, I guess we'll just take some damage. Actually, you know what? Give me, give me Wrath next turn. Yep, that seems good. We should be able to clean up here. Why did I draw all these cards? A centennial puzzle. Um, so this kills the little dude, right? And then... Um, 36 kills the big dude, so we're set. I can play a Vigilance for free, by the way. I don't know. There's not really any reason to. Alright, good Simmering Fury. Worked out well. Although, as it turns out... Oh yeah, it did matter, because it meant that my... Um, my Eruption was also doubled. Simmering Fury only gave me 9 damage, but I needed that 9 damage to get out without being hurt, so... 
Whew, two Scry Synergy cards already, huh? I want both of these, I think. Let's take Weave, because we have Big Scry. We're likely to... I don't know, I mean, I guess there, there's a good reason for both of these. But I think... Weave gets better as you take more Scry cards, whereas this doesn't. And I hope to take more Scry cards, so... I don't know. Uh, so you have 19 total, you have 22. So I'm playing all of my strikes and killing either one of them. So I guess the one with 22 health. Uh, and then I'll miracle a defend. We seem to have this under control. These are all meh. Like, I don't know. Why would I want any of them? Protect is okay. That's just like, it's expensive. I don't know. I guess I often end up not picking that many big defends, or even just defends in general. And this one's fine. Let's add it to the deck, see how it goes. Um, well. I mean, that, that turn sort of plays itself, right? Uh, so if I were vulnerable, you would be dealing nine. So I'm thinking like Vigilance, Miracle, Eruption. And then I have two energy left to spend. Ah, but then you would in fact be doing 12 plus half of that, which is 18. So Vigilance first is cool because I get more energy, but a bummer because if I can't also play Vigilance last, I would be in Wrath. Um, it seems very worthwhile to kill this guy, but I can't do that and also end the turn in, out of Wrath. So I think that it is actually best to play the Vigilance first, because I'm ending in Wrath anyway. I might as well get 8 block for free out of it. Well, cost, it makes means I have to spend my Miracle, but I don't have to throw away the energy I get from it. Um, yeah, so we hit this guy, killing him, and we block, and we take 5. It's not the end of the world. But I'm definitely taking a lot more damage than we have been on recent runs. And I'm not sure why, like... It's not like this Ascension level suddenly has more difficult enemies. And just, like, not getting as well set up as I would like. Ooh, that's Scry. A while ago I said I hadn't gotten an empty mind, like, ever. And there's one, finally. Okay. Um, I kind of like Fear No Evil. We have a lot of ways into call into wrath, so let's have a lot into calm and bounce around a lot. Is really like if you imagine that you could always exit calm whenever you want, you could look at a card that says enter calm as if it said gain two energy. Like obviously that's a big overstatement. This if this card actually said gain two energy, it would be insane, right? Um, but. You can hopefully structure your turn so that it actually behaves that way. And so, like, I don't know. Adding Wrath to the deck is also a way to activate stuff like this. Anyway. Ugh! Okay, well... <laughs> do I Gambler's Potion or Swift Potion? I could do both. 
Right, I could like Swift Potion, and then if I don't get enough attacks, uh, Gambler's Brew. Or I could just throw away four cards and draw four more. I really want to make sure I get to Eruption and a bunch of attacks, actually. So let's take the Swift first. This is okay. But... Like, wouldn't it... Hmm. I was saying, wouldn't it be nice to get into Eruption, but... We can't actually play that many attacks this turn. I'm thinking what I would like to do is shuffle... What's the order of this? Discard first, then draw. So what would be really kind of cool to do is discard seven cards, including Fear No Evil. Then when I draw seven more, I'll trigger a shuffle where only the seven cards I discarded are in the deck, right? So that next turn I, like, draw most of them. The idea being to let me Fear No Evil next turn after playing some attacks to get me back into Calm. And that seems pretty cool, doesn't it? So what seven cards could I throw out? The problem is I don't want to just draw a bunch of skills next turn along with Fear No Evil. So I guess I'm drawing enough attacks here. I should throw away like two attacks and my defense and my retained defense thingy. Yeah, I think this plan is a pretty good one. Oh right, we throw away Fear No Evil as well. Um, I don't want my defense. I want to throw away exactly seven cards, which I guess is this, this seven? I get to keep Miracle this way? Okay, there was some chance that we would draw Fear No Evil, of course. But it was a pretty low chance. So next turn, we have a pretty great setup coming. And I won't want to Miracle anything next turn, so I guess I'll do it now to get out one extra strike. That is so much attack. I thought you were supposed to do a small attack first that vulnerables me. Um, 12, 12, and 16 is 38, so not going to do it. So I'll just get into Calm, and then Protect. And we should be through here with this. This is I don't need to count it. This is more than enough. Alright, so that was what, five damage? It costs two potions, but they're potions that I often can't get much use out of. Okay, we're not seeing any shops for a long time, so Ma Bank is nice. Meditate? Sure. Smith up the eruption. It's kind of like my top priority pretty much always. I really love that extra energy on those turns, as I have described every time I take that. Uh... Okay, so this is nuts, right? We, we Simmering Fury, and then we Meditate to gain, I don't know, whatever. Ah, we play a Strike this turn, Simmering Fury, and then Meditate the Strike back. We'll be in Wrath with five energy, and we'll have chosen a perfect hand. I'm in love. Okay, so I don't want these. I don't really want Eruption. But I guess I want more attacks. No, because I want to, like, play, I don't know, four energy worth of attacks and then block, or maybe three and then Vigilance or something like that. So this is fine. Give me just the Fear No Evil, please, next turn. Oh, I woke him up because I'm a dummy! Oh, no! 
Oh, I was just like, it's free. Play the attack. Ugh. It's not the end of the world. Um, but it really would have been nice to not have... Like, clearly, I don't want to pay three... Ugh. <sighs> I only have myself to blame here. I wonder if it was even worth playing that attack. Like, I kind of want to play Protect and Vigilance this turn, but I don't know. Maybe I'll skip the Vigilance and just go with two attacks. That's got to be better. Oh, I'm just so sad about this turn. I messed it up so much. I could have had a really easy, very low damage fight against Lagavulin, and I didn't do it. So I think we want Simmering Fury here, and then just some defense. I mean, this is 13. Yeah, I guess that's better than just playing two defense. I don't really need to retain this, that's not super valuable. You know what, give me... How much damage am I doing next turn, by the way? I have like... 15... 21... 27 doubled is 54. So I'm not killing him next turn. But I'm gonna be very, very close. So I might as well spend the miracle on just like taking less damage. I won't need it next turn to do anything, and the turn after that I shouldn't need it either because he'll be dead. Yes, very dead. Okay, happy flowers, fine. I don't really want any of this. Deceive reality is cute. Like, there are turns... Like, it's... I don't know. I guess... It's better than a defend, but that's not saying a lot. Hmm. Being able to retain a safety is cool. I just don't know if it's worth putting a card in my deck that I'm not super excited to play. I think I'll pass. Okay, more money-focused stuff. Pretty sure I should scry and enter Wrath here, and I guess... I guess I want to have the energy when I get there. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I played all those. I gave myself that energy and glad I chose not to take any damage because I didn't would have been would have been wasting the miracle otherwise, right? Yeah, deal damage and exit your stance. Sure. There's lots of stances. I'm thrilled to exit. Um, just scry more. Well, that's already plenty of scry with the uh, the golden eye. Uh, meditate? Gaining more cards? Kind of cool, but I haven't been playing Meditate recently. Well, I, I just want, yeah, give me the Vigilance. That's a lot of extra block. Mm, why do I have four energy? I guess the flower. I'd like to kill the slime first, I guess, so that I don't have the vulnerable issues. Um, clearly I'm playing one defend. I'm playing the empty fist and at least one strike, and so the question is just between these two and the miracle, what do I do? I think I'm okay with taking one damage. 
On the other hand, though, like, I probably won't take any damage this fight. <laughs> Hopefully. So, I don't know. I, I, I'll take one damage just to make sure that I don't, like, get a bad draw next turn and have something. Oh, also that triggers Centennial Puzzle, so it's not even as bad as it could be. Uh, I mean, 8 and 5 is a good way to deal 13. And then I can, like, defend Simmering Fury, and that should be enough to kill this guy. I'll Miracle a Defend to make sure I don't take any more damage. Taking one damage. Oh my gosh, I forgot I'm frail. So it's actually even better. I gain three block. Or f I, I gain three health by miracling that. So definitely way better than spending the miracle last turn. Or, I argue, by spending the defend. Uh, better than spending the defend last turn either. So anyway, this is like very, very dead, right? 18, 30. Yep. On stance change, return this to your hand. I mean. We took a lot of stance change cards. We're gonna get to play this very often. I accept. And we don't even necessarily have to draw it. We could like discard it uh, with our scries and get its advantage anyway. Uh, here I have the energy to play everything, so that seems like a good start. I don't honestly know which of these two to kill first, but the slime has less health, so okay. Give me a strike. It's not amazing, but... Oh, funny. That went into my hand at the end of my turn, not at the beginning of the next one. Kind of too bad, but... Alright, I don't actually have that many attacks. Oh, I'm about... this is going to draw me another, though, right? Yeah, it's going to draw me this for four... So, I think playing the Weave and the Flurry of Blows against this guy is the best way to do some damage. To, 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 to spread my damage out conveniently. So, I'll Eruption the other guy. Or wait, no, 9 plus... I mean, this is 10, right? So, I'd rather spend 9 on him than spend 10. Yeah. Like, Fear No Evil doubling against him is it sounds cool, because it wastes even less damage, but it means I don't get to enter Calm, which is something I would like to do. Yeah, that's 8, that's 10, so we put the 8 there. Um... We certainly want to enter Calm. It's just a question of, like, how much extra damage can I get away with? I mean, he's attacking for 9, this block's 9, so that's sort of plenty. But also, like... Yeah, I guess that is better than playing 2 defends. So I only cost me 2 energy uh, to block everything, therefore I can spend 2 more energy on attacking. Hey, I got this back. I didn't even think of that. are very dead. I mean, we could... Could have hoped to hit something that would return, right? You know, just for good practice. Do things, uh... In way, even when it doesn't super matter. Uh, wow! Cut Through Fate and Flurry of Blows both seem pretty good. I'll take Cut Through Fate just because, like, it's unequivocally good, whereas this is like, well, you have to draw it, you have to make sure your dance conti d deck continues to uh, have a lot of ways to stay change stance. Uh, whereas this is just like, I have the relic that makes this insane, so I accept. Alright, I'm resting at the campfire. Give me a relic. Thanks. Am I resting at the campfire? 
<laughs> it's slime, right? We're so good against slime. How's he gonna kill me? Come on. Give me a, give me a smith. Um... I don't even know. They're all so great. Just the scry cut through fate is pretty great. But like this is, oh, it's so much extra damage, right? We get to play this so many times. And I have potions, right, in case this doesn't go as well as I would like. This is being double, not doubled, it's having nine added to it. But whatever I play would have nine added, so it doesn't super matter. Um, so what, the stuff I put in the discard pile is stuff that um, I can have returned to my hand. And he like, he debuffs me, then he charges up, then he attacks. So this, this is my chance to, like, simmer a lot, right? I want to draw this. Uh, yeah. So get that in the discard pile, please. Honestly, these are four excellent cards to draw right now, I feel like. Next turn. Um, what's in my discard pile? How do I see that? Uh... Yeah, I just, I love all of these so much right now. Give me back cut through fate for more damage. Because I'm going to have a lot of energy, right? I have, like, extra calms. I have empty fists. So even though I know I'm drawing four attacks, I want another. So give me that flurry of blows first. I have, like, almost too much attack, right? Oh, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't trigger, actually. I forgot about that. Um, because he's not attacking. But, like, suppose I wanted to play every attack in my hand. I have six attack, six energy worth of attacks and five energy. So it would be a little bit tricky. Um, I, I could miracle it, basically. And I also, I can draw this strike if I want it. But so, like, how much damage is this? How much damage do I want to do if I'm setting him at, um... Let's say I want to set him to 71. Not sure yet that I do, but anyway, that would be, like, 48 damage, right? That's two strikes is 24. And this is 40, so if we take away... This is 44? Yeah. If I play, like, um, Eruption, Empty Fist, Strike, right? 16 and 18 is 32. That's 44. Oh, I want to do 48. Right. Uh, it's so complicated. But I think I do want to do that, right? I want to get as close to 48 damage as I can. So let's say we hit him with this. Is 12, 12, 30, yeah, okay. I mean, I have three 12s, that's 36, but then I have just a tiny bit too much damage. So I should empty fist before one of them, I think. And then re-enter eruption. So what if I did like 16 and nine is 25, now I want 17 more. I 
I can't easily do that. Well, this would be... Oh, yeah, e I can easily, because I could play Fear No Evil before the eruption when it's doing 16, right? So I do 32 with these two, and then I eruption for nine more is 41, which is pretty dang good, right? Actually, it's worth, instead of playing Fear No Evil, playing Cut Through Fate. It does two less damage, but it lets me throw away these defends that I don't want next turn. Actually, it just lets me throw away one of them. I'm... No, I, I draw one and throw the other away, which is fine. Okay, so that's the line. We do this, get out of here. Ah, oh, we're drawing the strike as well. Okay, I would have preferred it to be strike not on top, but what can you do? Anyway, draw the defend, but don't trigger a shuffle, because I would love for any of these cards to reappear. Next turn. Then, we said Empty Fist right now, followed by Eruption, right? 16, that's 25 more. Did I miss something? It's not even close to as much as I thought? How much more damage? We want to do 34 more damage, right? That's Eruption and Fear No Evil. That's exactly 34? Okay, I don't know what my other plan was, but this is the right plan. Mm, we can... Mm, I mean, I don't know. Empty Fist, or uh, uh, Vigilance doesn't really help, because... Okay, I could get the energy back, but I don't really... Oh, I do need it! I... Mm, no, I don't have anything in my discard pile that I want. Uh... I suppose I could Miracle and... Well... I could hope to discard, uh... Oh, it does give me something... I... No. Right, so the idea is I could Miracle and try Scrying and see if I hit Weave or Flurry of Blows, in which case I get them back in hand, which would be great. I think that's worth a miracle. Then I, then I have to play Vigilance, and I can't get my energy back without a miracle, so yeah. Alright, we got one of them. That's great. Honestly, I'm happy to draw these next turn. See how much damage we got out of that Miracle? Well worth it. Oof. You're both attacking quite a lot, you know. Um, okay, I guess we use a Duplication Potion to kill him. Kind of a bummer, but... I don't really have any better... Well... I could get hit for 24. <laughs> and really, like, since I could block for 5, it would really only be 19. Uh, and we heal back, like, what, 3 quarters of that? So it's kind of like being hit for 4. Like, it, I don't want to spend this potion on 4 health, right? So go ahead and hit me. See if I care. Um... Yeah. I can live with that. Oh, I don't even take damage because he splits. I forgot that there's like a whole other stage left to these guys. They're so small. I thought they were... They were terminal. What is this garbage? One attack? Whatever. Oh! Two attacks. Psych. Gotcha. Um, anyway, we obviously just block all this and then kill him next turn. All right. Uh, yeah, we took no damage against the big slime guy, right? I told you he couldn't kill me. Do any of these synergize with my deck? I mean, Akabeko Ragnarok is a thing, right? 
If it says, like, deal 14 damage to a random enemy five times, it's very good. But it doesn't always say that. Um... Judgment is, like, kind of the scary card to me. It's pretty good when it's good. But you draw it pretty often when it's bad. Um, what about Reach Heaven? Like, since we kind of scry a lot, it uh, may enable us to find that card more often or discard Reach Heaven when we don't want it, maybe? I don't know. I guess I'll I'll take Reach Heaven, but I'm not I'm not like really sold on it. Ragnarok is just too uncontrolled. I try to play the 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 Watcher with like a lot of careful stance, entering and exiting, and making sure I have just enough damage to kill you know the right enemy or whatever. And Ragnarok is just like, it's really great turn one, but it's kind of unfocused great, and you end up taking some damage anyway, so I think I'll pass on that. And I'll just do Reach Heaven. It's a nice, reasonable card that does something most of the time. Huh. I mean... On the one hand, it seems... No, this is a bad choker deck, right? We have two zero-cost cards that we play relatively often, sometimes multiple times on the same turn. And we have several ways into and out of Calm, giving us even more energy. So I think there are going to be a lot of card turns where we actually want to play more than six energy. More than six cards. And so, like, Sozu could be okay. It's pretty good in general. But... I think it's a pretty good Pandora's box, to be honest. Like, our strikes and defends are all not great, and random cards would probably be better. Boy, the... <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I get what I asked for, huh? Yikes. This is terrible. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess I got two judgments. I got a lot of rare cards, and... Those could be good. And uh, Foresight? Like, that's insane. Um, Sands of Time I'm, and Unraveling I'm not very happy with. But we'll see. See if I can do something with this stuff. Anyway, that's it uh, for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.